What's up? This is HU News Tech here. So I'm going to do this video about uh, apparently eBay is still having trouble and a lot of people are not able to get their PS5s for like $500. And I don't think Walmart can get theirs either. I think other stores are actually having them scalped, including, you know, managers, which is not tolerated and it shouldn't be tolerated. And believe it or not, there is one PS5 that is $60,000. Uh, which is way overpriced for the console. It's only like a five hundred dollar console. Why is it sixty thousand dollars when a Mac Pro from twenty nineteen maybe a little slower in this machine with a lot more SSD or like eight terabytes, which is compared to nothing compared to this. Because this one's unlimited and it it's still like twenty one thousand dollars, not including a monitor, keyboard, and nothing like that. And it's in better grade they're not even you know costing as much and uh, sixty thousand dollars is just too much yeah like they're going for like 900 right there and you're not guaranteed to get a console I think I think last year I heard there's like a hundred uh, FedEx PS5s that were sent and that were stolen and people didn't get what they deserved, what they wanted. They would scan the package, and uh, they would just drive off and steal the PS5s and other consoles. And there's been times where they stole a truck, or you get a console from a scalper for an insane price hike, and it came and worked online because it was stolen, or you know, they, someone reported it stolen, or they swapped the box with another one that was supposedly. So on it doesn't work online because they were for the Sony and you can't just easily get your money back with eBay and so I don't like going to eBay. I mean uh Amazon has the same trouble. PS fives are still a thousand dollars. When how low people they're supposed to be five hundred only and no more than a cent. And they're still being, they're still selling these apparently, which is just ridiculous for the cost of these consoles when they could be easily. I wonder why they're so sold out because it's got for using bots. And there needs to, there was a law. I don't know, but I don't think it passed yet. And it needs to pass because bots are buying these consoles up in bulk, like too many. And uh, I even noticed on Walmart.com the other day or so uh, that you can only buy like so many of a certain item because scalpers, you know, they all going. Yeah, I can only have like like two DVD packs of blanks to burn like files and you know backups and all that, just because probably the scalpers buying them out and then selling them online for a lot higher. I'm gonna in fact look. See they have yeah the thirty five dollars they're usually like twenty dollars. This is the brand I get. That's at my store and then the Walmart. And it is for forty eight dollars. I mean not forty eight, but it was forty six, which is more it should be. Twenty four dollars. Walmart is cheaper than that. You know, even if I wanted to burn dual layer and buy them, they're just outrageously expensive, and I just, I just don't see it. Our store used to carry these. I wish they would. I mean, it was a pretty reasonable price. I forgot exactly the cost. You know, this might sound like a lot, but you know, think about it, you have something that can be backed up and you can trust because the drives went out. One of my old uh, PS4 was the, one of my original HP drives that backed up my original uh, second HP computer that was from the store that I used my good 20% off, my first discount off, my whole entire career that was extra. And I believe the career doesn't work either. It doesn't work for some reason. I had to get my sister my old iMac because some reason it doesn't work and it's old I understand 
but this one is refurbished and it does have trouble at times. But um, yeah. So um, if you have like a hard drive, you know, there's always a chance it could go out and then you're, you're basically screwed basically because your data is completely gone. You can't just recover it. And um, I think I tried to recover some files that, with a pre program and it just takes forever. Even on SSD that is supposedly fast from the um, third priority I resold on the walmart.com that it's just apparently slow. I just don't bother. That's why I can do one of those that back up. I think, I think mine the first time, I, I think it could, mine could take like 30 plus disks to just the backup because it's like 400 gigs plus almost 500. And I just use this program to a different drive and I just back it up and I just encrypt it and it's free and it doesn't cost nothing and it's definitely the best you can have compared to when I, with Microsoft and buying like a Pro 10 license and then activating it on this machine that has at least four years until it technically is useless and then I have to probably put like a Linux install which I already got several of those uh, burned and downloaded so it's like it's unready if Windows eventually stops being supported for like Windows 10 and I can't upgrade to the latest Windows because I can't get the hardware so old but uh, yeah if you like this kind of content make sure to com comment like below and thanks for watching share this as well thank you see ya